All right, I should register though. All right, I'm not super confident and I'm not sure the build is, uh, I don't know, am I in the event? Looks like it. I'm registered, right? I played a few more matches yesterday and this morning. It went kind of okay, but there's a bit of awkwardness with if Lorekeeper could cast Throne, I think the deck would be like much better. Lorekeeper could cast Hugh and Throne, it'd be like the nuts, but because my round should be pretty fast. Yeah, I'm playing Diner as well. Why not? Esper and Blue White are probably just great, you know, and the top eight's going to be like half all blue white and Esper, but I actually played a match against Esper this morning and I got swiftly 2 0'd, but I flooded game one and I mulliganed to. I flooded game one against a double bad draw and then game two I just mulliganed to five. Mulligan into Oblivion. Luck Lord Beerus. What are you playing? The blue white bill looks cool. Desperate deck looks strong too. Jabberwocky ramp. I tried that a few matches and I I did like uh I did like the spell on king. I think it might be better than um than not. You tried it some it's fine enough. Yeah, I I try I played a few matches. It felt decent. If you had a few caves, I don't know if you saw me stream the other day, probably not. I added some um, some of the multicolor caves, the one where you pick the color, and also tap two mana to cycle a lane, which can be relevant in some spots or if you're still playing Myrex too. My opponent has disconnected quickly. Sneak in Lore Keeper while I can. Not a bad hand. So what did I cut for that? I was considering third Hugh Utley. I was con considering more Raptors. And I was considering a second Dracozor. So so that card, that frail back in my hand could be a Hugh Utley or it could be a Raptor. Looks like Right now, both Huawei and Raptor would be a bit better, maybe. The deck seems like it had relies heavily on the tier one lore keeper. I don't think so, actually. It's nice, but the problem with lore keeper is that in my build, anyways, and maybe it's just a bad build, but it doesn't cast that card and it doesn't cast Huawei. So even if you go like turn to Hammer Skull, a lot of time you're not gonna have another Dino. Especially in this build, because I'm not playing many Raptors. But then it's good because it, it ramps you to death. And then just the extra body can be nice was um was a ridge line maybe or I'm pretty happy to see planes turn on, I think. Could have Elspeth Smite randomly. Thalia. Hmm. Oh wow. Well, I can't even cast that, I guess. Never mind. I guess the sun was not gone yet. Probably as for legends. In barrage, only frail back Baylos. I think they play Schooner and Thalia. Probably not. Right? So you play Thalia. Yes, you could. You could turn to Schooner, turn to Thalia. And then they don't have a ton of interaction, right? So. 
Relbeck can go. Maybe Dracozar is a little greedy. Hmm. Yeah, they just scooped. They just scooped turn two, turn three. I could like cut Raptor because it's not going to attack very well into their stuff. Has Ruby been? I think Ruby's pretty solid. I like a cup here too. I was playing one, I added a second one. I could trim some top end. Keeping Raptor is nice for my chomps though. But keeping Raptor and trimming top end feels bad. Uh, also, Karnsar is just removal early in the game. Maybe I'll cut Drake because Ark is like a prime go for the front target. Could cut a lane on the draw too. Cut a ridge line. Kind of tough to sideboard with this deck. Oh, they're playing a. Uh... Weird, because they had Plaza in their deck. So I definitely didn't. They had Plaza in Thalia. So I didn't really expect. Uh... I didn't really expect that. Oh, they're playing the Boris Convoke deck. Hmm. I think I should kill Warden right now. And I guess I can just name human here. This way they can't convoke knight next turn. Boris humans, I think it's... Um... I think it's like the Convoke build, but yeah, I think it's probably humans. Plaid's act kind of threw me off. I need a land here. Nice. That's clutch. Now Adeline's not even that bad if they have another Adeline. Because I just get to block a 1-1. One -one. Is that one worse for me? Uh, this one just comes back, so I'm not sure I should kill this one right away, even though it gains him life. Why are we said blocker? What's wrong? Can I not block? Is it just new UI? Don't want to be a little greedy? Play Throne first? Feel like you wanted the Festivity out of all. I thought I was playing in Cesper Legends. Maybe that was foolish for me to assume that. Because I only saw planes, Thalia, and a Plaza in game one. So I assume that's for Legends. I don't think I need to greed, right, against that deck. Just insane greed to want to play Throne first. But also, whenever you attack, I just want to put a plus one, plus one. Plus four, four is big enough to block. What removal do they play? Let me, give me a sec. Let's not throw the... Oh, I didn't tweet. Let me not throw this this game. I'm sure I can find their lists. I saw that list somewhere. I don't know if it was in a prelim. When did deck dump? Maybe it was in the deck dump, or was it on? Maybe it was on the. Hey, Lupa Negativo, Negativo. Thank you so much for the reset, bud. Appreciate it. Is that the list, potentially? Mm. 
doesn't look like this list. Oh, you linked his deck? Oh, I should have just searched for Hamuda, literally. <laughs> Free get lost, which he probably kept in. Oh, he might have a uh, Brutal Cathar now. Destroy Evil, Invasion. So I played this, even if he has a removal, the other thing is I still have a blocker for it. I still have a blocker for one of the one ones. I lose my throne, I go one of the one one dies. If I play that, I get at least a free free. He brutal Cathars that. I think I want to play that. The little hedge of having the two to untapped block a one one, even if they do get rid of Ron is nice. I Ganjo. Once again, I don't think I care about the life too, too much. Uh, okay. Good thing I didn't play Hatcher last turn. They would have killed the Hatcher and attacked with the Malpakal and stuff. Could have gone for just Chomp on my turn. Flow. He's used a bunch of maps, right, and just chomp that thing. They have no way to protect it, right? Yeah. It's getting all scary. If I play Hatcher and have another get lost, I kind of just lose. Not interested. Do they have a way to potentially pump it? I don't think so. Is that instant speed or sorcery? Sorcery. Okay. Lore Keeper. The land, yeah, it's free mana plus sack it. Is it time for my friend to get lost? Another Adeline. Not too scary. Let's start recasting uh, dinos. Oh. Trumpeteer or Hatcher? How do I lose? How do I lose? Like Warden? I mean, making a lot of free freeze is cool, but... 
this seems like better, right? Double discover five. So I can use the ability here. All right. All right, nice. Um, okay, I would assume it's playing like Esper, Blue Black, something like that. I guess he could be playing something spicy. Zerg brings the spice sometimes. So he's probably playing Boros Convoke, maybe? Uh, do I have an option here? Not really. I am pretty gas. Rollback Throne? Could be nice, too. Oh, red and Black. Hmm. Assuming I just played a run right away. Mm. I was like, that's a little too good to be true. Just nothing on turn two. Real back man. I decided to play one. I felt like during the I'm playing four thrones, and I figured like was that build. Um, it kind of made sense. Curry has arrived. Enjoy, Behopsy. Anyone wants to find me a link for what Xerk might be playing? Anyone has seen something similar? I guess I could go take a list at the, the deck dumps. Claire. Claire, Dad, and not the 4-4. Four, four. I don't think I want to offer a trade, right? Trading seems bad, but he could be worried about the cycling dinosaur. It wouldn't be even that big of a blowout for him, I guess. So the frailback you can do three times artifact right or it, that's how it works right mixless is that good enough doesn't look too scary no it's one max of each it's only one spare option okay all right well we drew the land so it's probably jeej Strong, you can do two each, yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. You one out of each. Is that good? X to Jesus, a very popular entry in that omelet franchise. I don't get it. Please explain. Gab about to oh, because of the, the puns? Oh, I'm loving it. Yeah. I'll be right back.
All right. What did we draw? Uh, dinos have haste. One, two, three, four, five. So I can cast Ruby. Or I should just cast that for. Do I care about exiling graveyards? Let's have Fountain play. No, oh, no, uh, until end of turn, you may play that card. Oh, can I even use that to? Uh... What happened to all my eggs, by the way? Oh, you killed a bunch. All right, did I do that properly? Oh, it doesn't double the trigger twice kind of a thing. Mm. Okay, let's do one at each of Mixolus and then the rest at him again. Killing one of uh, Mixolus and pushing some damage through. I wonder what top end he has. And I wonder how good Frillback is. It doesn't seem that great. I guess it's good against Anvil specifically. But do I care that much about Anvil? Oh, I have free Bills in my sideboard. That works against a Mixilis, right? <laughs> she might even have, uh, probably has red for Oger. Those got owned by Breaches. This open is going to suck. Uh, Breaches is such a good card, yeah. Kind of keep Chum because it kills the free two and it kills Padel and she Oger. Needle could be good. Bailos and Frillback could be good. Hammer Skull seems kind of bad. In a nutrition matchup, also he has a bunch of 1 1s to Chum them. So maybe the call is just to cut all the Hammer Skulls. And bring in Bailoth and Frelbax. This deck looks cool. It is. It is, it is cool, especially when you, you draw well. Um, could keep it low to the ground, not be too greedy. Like, I could do this. Cards arts. I feel always pretty badass. Needle. I have four frail bags. So I need needle. I think it works against. It's really good against uh, Planeswalker too. End of festivities. I don't think this is an end of festivities matchup. It does target Planeswalker. Feels a little reactive, but. Carnazor, decent channel free damage. Not in this matchup. It's going to be trading down a lot. I could trim on lore keepers. How good is he at, like, he has the devils? Oh, he's that good. Too much air? I am worried there's too much air, yeah, for sure. I could, like, cut the raptor. Dracozor. It's bad against their removal, though. I could just have Nissa, maybe. Nissa and Luka in these matchups. I'll do one end the festivities. I could also cut Lore Keeper. Keep at least one Carnosaur I can get with Huatle. All right, I guess I'm laying very low to the ground and hoping that's enough. I think four Frailbacks probably just nonsense though. Hands fine. Con Mulligan lands in spell in this matchup. I should I should probably have more. I could maybe trim Lore Keeper. I don't know how good he is besides the. The devil from uh, the planeswalker at killing one ones. That's we're about to find out. Lands and spells, bad chest. Oh yeah. Oh, 
What a miser. I mean, maybe he had a one drop to go with it, but kind of looked like a mice from here. Hello, Father Frodo. How's your weekend going? Oh, where's my Bela? It would have been so good. We're going to play Hatcher. Good packing to move on Tuesday. Moving all the time. Good attack. Does that make sense? Could attack the one was one. Get the devil. It just channel Sukenza, maybe? Is that a play? Channel Sukenza, send one at one token at the one was one, two at the one was two. No, there's no way. I played a hatcher, then a free free. They have to chum kill that. Kind of need the extra value, I think. Maybe I don't need the extra value. With two paleontologists for the late game. Throne, I can't. Um, this is I can't cast this of the Lord Keeper. Oh no, kind of questionable. I think me just playing the Hatcher was better. Death coach, thank you so much for your primary sub. Appreciate it. Ojer, yeah, he does have Ojer. That was a break, though. That was a break for him. Oh, you're moving to Florida? Why did I think you were just moving back to, um, just moving different places in Toronto? Damn, Florida. Thanks, Chudzi. Always looking out for me. Would be gas if this was the breakout deck of the weekend and I just showed up was uh was free Bailos in my sideboard. And a bunch of needles too. Uh, that's what I thought. Thought you were just moving within the, the city. All right, you. And I think I'm actually going to send two out of next list. That does seem more worth it to me. He's just letting Nicholas die. Makes sense. Uh, how about his Ojer for me here? I mean, he's got nothing going on. An Anvil would be pretty good with two synthesizer. Okay, here is the Anvil. Let's see if he can pop off. I mean, I do have Needle. Also, if my Hat Trevor dies, I get to replay it again. He needs some kind of sweeper. It, he needs to somehow have a sweeper in his sag deck, which is not impossible. I don't know, maybe he can just nickel and dime me? Oh. All right. All right, all right, all right. So... <clears throat> what do I want to do, like, life plus kill the anvil? I feel like I misplayed that card earlier, though. So I need to only pay once the first time if I want to kill two artifacts. 
is how it works. I could just like kill kill the construct, gain free life, and then just needle anvil. Oh no, I'm gonna kill two artifacts. Or gain eight life. No. I'm just so confused. The ETB is paying. Oh, so it's useless. I got it now. So actually, it's not a combo at all with Throne, unless you have like 20 billion mana. Would I rather kill it or needle it? Probably just kill it. All right, sorry, Xeric. Um, yeah, so it's only really good if you have a bunch of mana, right? Or else it's kind of useless. 9, 12, 15. 18, 21, so they have to chump lots. It lets you double up on the one mode. So it's only useful. Oh, I guess, yeah, for five mana, I get to double up on the one mode. So I can do two artifacts, whereas. I could only do artifact plus. Oh, okay, he does have sweepers. Okay. Good beat. Oh, but the ward. Wow. The ward. The clutch ward. Oh, draw. Uh, let's see. I think I'm just gonna play like a needle synthesizer, but I think I'm it's just better to play that. Cause I was thinking like even if I needle that, you could just have like a way to sack it and then it's kind of wasted. Can I exalt throw that? I mean I think he's dead. Also I can just flip you out way. <clears throat> So in hindsight, thinking about Brotherhood's End. Mm, Brotherhood's End hits Planeswalkers too, right? GG's. Keep. <clears throat> Is there an upside to not playing Lord Keeper? Probably not. A little early for the dab. Shudzi is still a long way to go. You already made day two, Aloisi. Nice. What do you think of conducting riddle for blue black control in Pioneer? Confounding riddle. Is that the new Supreme Oil? Sounds good. It's good with Dig. It's good with Gear Hulk. Hey, Magnus Dave. I'm playing both, yeah. I usually don't double Q, but this is easy to double Q because my deck in standard is fast, and then the arena open is just best of one game, so they're easy to like slot in. It's like kind of perfect open free of braids. I mean, free of braids is cool, but if you don't have high impact cards or card advantage and stuff, it's just one for one removal. Tried Riddle in my standard. Yeah, no, Riddle does sound, does sound pretty good. Might be better than Sabotage. Fix rid your first bullet, bumping your. Yeah, if you don't feel like it, I don't force it, honestly, Rockets. I, I've been like really not super about the opens until pretty recently. That was a draw. I'm a big fan of not forcing it. Don't not don't have FOMO. It's fine, it's whatever. The odds of doing well on day two are making it and doing well on day two. Maybe you wake up tomorrow morning and well, I guess it depends where you live, but you're like sometimes I'll fire a bullet on Sunday morning and screw it. That was actually pretty awkward. 
Uh, I guess I have bolts. That does bolts. That was super awkward. Uh, I could attack with rich line. A lot of damage. I didn't realize. I know. I wait. Does that work? It doesn't work because it's land. It's not a land dino yet. That'd be kind of sweet. Do you recommend uninstalling Arena if you don't enjoy it? Does if you're not happy after you're done playing Arena, then yes. Done that with Dota a few years ago. Dota too. And it's pretty awk. Okay, I need to check deck lists. I need to see how many cards I'm killing with that two free if I don't draw a land next turn. Uh, so they're gonna play a Denic, a Legion, Guy Warden. They're gonna explore on it for toughness potentially. I guess I just attack with the two one ones, right? It's actually like kind of straightforward turn. Eh, not that straightforward. I could I could play the two free of the one ones and attack with it too to have a little more board presence. I don't want to be too greedy. Uh, also don't want to let them explore for free and potentially hit a land. Like how many Karnas are so I need to resolve this game to win? Right, they could have a counter. They might also just play another creature. I don't know, this does not feel great, but... Easy. Feel bad I used uh, my other Carnosaur now. And I guess they can still make disappear that thing. Yeah. Never lucky. Man, I actually needed to draw a cavern there. I think if I, yeah, I don't know what I would have done if I'd drawn a regular land. Cavern of Sol, yeah, it's standard. Good thing, because I don't think my deck would be very playable if it wasn't. Yeah, I need another lucky draw. I need that hammer skull again. That would be the nuts. I need to draw... Uh, there's not a ton of things I can draw. The 5-3, I can draw hammer skull. I mean, the 4-4 four four is not a terrible top deck either. I know plus Chomp Naya is Ward 1. And 1 mana shorts. One, two, three, four, pay, one pay, yeah. I mean, I can tell it was Dino Treasure, but it kind of defeats the purpose. I mean, I'm just going to play that thing. Put the six in my hand, not on the stack? No, nah, because if they have Destroy Evil, I get out Tempodes. I think that's just too bad. The question is, do I play... Uh... Do I play the two free now? If I played that two free on turn two, it would have been a bunch of extra damage already. I think that two free is killing them. I guess next turn it's actually it is killing. Because this is a dino. Hmm. 
No, there's no way that's worth it. No, I can't. I can't cast the throw enough keeper. If you could cast throw enough lore keeper, the deck would be so much better. It's actually such a huge deal that that line doesn't work. What do they have? Wandering Emperor, probably. Spinner is just such a dumb card. And it's not even legendary. All right, can I do it now? Did I get there? What should I name Golem? I think I got there. What should I name? Have Dino do Golem or Human? Maybe just Human. Wait, I need to make sure I have enough color in mana. Okay, so four, five, six, seven. And they're tapped out. For as long as uh, the two. Oh, but it doesn't come back into play. I don't get the discover trigger again. It's not that great. It's still pretty good. I can attack with it. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, let's do that. I can start playing a little faster. My deck gets fast, but... Alright, hopefully I can prevent lethal next turn. This thing does have trample. At the ridge lines, the one ones. Pretty good for them. That's pretty good for them too. Excited for C four C. I think tap plan was fine. Hey, Warren Fish. Well, early, but I guess yeah. Are they just dead? Dead? Even with the Denik. I think it's frail back against that deck. Four virtues, four virtue, four schooner. Okay, so they might have Boonbringer. How much removal do I want against that deck? Probably not a ton, because Schooner is a problem. And then Frillback. Card seems a little underwhelming. They're pretty good at killing the 6-6. Six, six. <laughs> good cut hammer skull. Good trim firstborn. Firstborn just pretty underwhelming. Second frill back. This says a little greedy. Needle seems like it should be good. Like cheap way of hitting Schooner and Wandering Emperor. But they're going to bring in Loran. This is the matchup where I can trim a land. Maybe trim a Ridgeline on the draw. Bring in Needle. And trim. Do they have like four Destroy Evil up for sideboard? Maybe trim that for frill back. Yeah, I like this. No yearling, no. 
unclear if it's right or not, but no. I'm going to keep. I have fast mana and I have Cavern of Souls, so just hoping to draw. Payoffs. Fortunate. I even boarded out a land. Not fair. No, I'm not Euroling. I'm more relying on my late game than on the beatdown draws. Yeah, I mean, it could still be the perfect. They're probably terrified right now. They're probably thinking, oh, God. I lose, but no, I will land. All right, I need a. Good spell or else it's GG. I mean, that's fine, but it's not great. Do I ever offer a trade here just to sneak in two damage? The flyer beats are gonna add up. Gotta be able to fret on that. Uh... Carnosaur at least next turn if I top deck it. Just say to crep for breakfast. Wow. Crep over type is what's going on. I need to exile. Oh, I could have exiled Venic. I forgot. That was kind of bad. They had Wandering Emperor in hand though. It's probably a much better play than for them than Denic, but yeah, no, you're right. Does lose. Could cost me the game. You need to not forget this is actually a treasure that could be relevant. Yeah, that was, that was pretty bad. I forget that card's just like, you know, exile stuff too. Awkward. Okay. I wonder if Barrage is even worth it. I feel like I always lose when I draw too many Barrage in these matchups. And I always, almost always wish it was just another Dino. I was on the draw though. So I think it makes sense. I don't want zero barrage. I think that's all dumb. Uh, needle. Also, needle is worse on the play. And frillbag becomes better. Probably. Wait, why do I have Bailoff in here? Did I have Bailoff in my deck in game two? Hope not. Okay, let's rely on our Dino Synergies here. How did I determine free cards or is the right number? It was literally the last cut I made. It was Force Karnazar, second is Quint, or, or second Ruby. I think Ruby's pretty good though. Real deck could get underwhelming real fast, but their deck's just so bad without Schooner and the weddings and stuff. I kind of like not having too many barrages, honestly. And I still have Isquin to like kill an angel if they brought that, that in. I guess they have Larcenus, never mind. Barrage is kind of great against them, and I'm crazy. They're not great, but should not be cut. I drop his R's just greedy in this matchup. Okay, let's do the four barrage. Okay, super solid hands. On the play. On the draw, I would feel scared to just lose to like turn to schooner. 
but on the play that lands pretty that lands pretty sweet. set up for a long game just poets then threaten to flip it next turn i could hammer skull attack for free and the next turn hammer skull attack for nine that seems hard for them to beat as well how do i get owned if i play a few oddly against their deck uh larcenist Larcenist, Destroy Evil, Loran. Let's see. The Hammer line kind of sucks against Larcenist. Kind of like the Huawei line. This sets me up. Sets me up just really nicely for the rest of the game. Because they kind of have to cast Larcenist on it, right? Or else they just lose. Unless they can someone race with Flyers. No secret reach on Huali. What are you repping? Bodyguard, exactly. One bodyguard. Can you counter? Exile and return it. No. So they could have their one, they could have bodyguard. They could have soul partition. Travel doesn't work. They do get wrecked. Cavern on Golem, Golem. No. Oh. I think the line is just hammer skull hammer skull wait i only have five mana never mind cavern on golem golem is tempting and then next turn i get to double hammer skull they can't destroy evil i can attack with my two creatures too right bodyguard what did we say bodyguards do they bring in elspa smite in this matchup on the draw Virtue. Also, like this golem. Having the golem in place just if I ever draw anything good, it's just totally over. Could have a Ganjo. Yeah. Guy playing Huali runs into Emperor. I mean if their next turn is Emperor kill Huatli. I'll probably just win. Good to say play Land Hammer Skull. Yeah, I like the Golem line, I think. And the question is, do I attack into Iganjo? Uh, I think I have enough to do with my mana. I have double hammer. If they, if they kill, if their turn is like Iganjo and something, I get to double hammer skull next turn anyways, which is kind of better than flipping Huali. And an F2 vines. Yeah. I mean, just damage matters. Even if they kill one, I get two or three damage in. I think that Virtue plus Y to have Smites. All right, that's good beats. Still free damage. Still miss, miss, missing out on a lot of damage. Arena Open started a while ago, yeah. I mean, if I lose to the, like, Sphere of Resistance draw when I'm on the playlist that draw it in. Maybe I should scrap the deck, honestly. They are doing a, a good job at keeping up with the cheap spells and stuff, but that'd be kind of embarrassing if I lost the triple anchorage draw. Explore into planes. Are doing an open. I'm free and out. All right, I need to draw something. 
feel like I need to maybe draw something. Maybe not. Maybe what I have is enough. Unclear. I don't have that great of an attack here. Do I offer to trade? Third, then it could become a problem, but not for a while. I kind of have to take one of the, yeah, and hope I, hope I break. Mm. I think I pump the throne with six power and they need to double block it. When it attacks another target, attacking creature gets plus two plus two on tap it. You have the dino land, yeah. Do we cut a land? Not on the play. Do I get the trigger twice? Oh, I think I get the trigger twice. It's pretty sick. Huh. So definitely thrown, right? Yes. And then uh Ruby the free four it's six six. I don't bump the six six they can triple block it. Let's see. I don't think they're gonna block the land because I have another one in play. If I pump Ruby, they can't really block with Larcenist. So they basically have Denik and Knight token to block. So I could pump Ruby. They didn't want to block the land just because they got nothing better to block. Yeah. Figured when they didn't play Virtue, they probably had something for two mana and it really had they needed that to make up for the triple anchorage draw points on the clock yes yeah, some somehow i'm not really worried i mean you never know i could I mean, this game could end up in a draw but Yeah, I mean, I'll lose, I guess. I guess they just had a lot. I need to draw my 7-6. I don't think I even trimmed them any. Yeah, all well, my 7-6. I even have my 5-5. Five, five. No, I boarded out to 5-5. Five, five. Barrage, pretty good draw. The 2-2 two is pretty good draw, too. That probably means they have another spell. They would just never play that, right? Is this on tap as well? I just put counter on them. Thanks, Barrage, for my force top deck. That's four lands in a row? Come on. Dude, that game was so gross. I guess I would have just won if I flipped Itali. Maybe it's on me. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, attack makes it a three four on taps it, but then they get to attack. Am I even gaining grounds? Get to attack and then play virtue. Uh, 
Oh well. Uh, I guess I kind of messed up. I don't know. Dude, I, I... Mod, feel free to time out anyone who says this deck needs something when um, I'm just, like, super flooded. Yeah, if I just flip you out late at one turn, I, I win. They still think my play was right. They needed to have exactly, like, Virtue plus Smite into Larcenus plus this short, like... They didn't even, like, do anything this, this game to, like, filter their draw. They just naturally drew, like, perfect amount of spells and lands. And I drew, like, four lands in a row when it mattered. Uh, great, great, right on time. Right on freaking time. Man, I'm so tilted. All right, GG's. I mean, it's over, right? It's over. Yeah, I'd have the, have the save and play. Like, kind of awkward, but it's not even that big of a deal because. I'm really just ramping to actually not awkward at all. I get to go Ruby into our keeper. Yeah, I know what you're on. I'm on Golgari mid. Fully crushed. No, it's not true. I didn't crush Golgari mid, but I did beat Golgari mid a couple times, I think, on the ladder. It did feel like a decent matchup. I was debating how many Ridge Lines play, how many Copper Line Gorge and stuff. Felt like rich line's not that big of a deal because you get these these hands where even if you're not playing your even if you're not playing your um your mana dorks on curve you're still ramping to five and six drops so you still end up playing your five and six drops one turn early how's the drake azor it was okay for me in a random ladder match yesterday. Oh, wow. They mulliganed. They mulliganed and they were on the draw. Did they mulligan to five? Yes. I even have to have to bring back my dinos that die. Let's go high upside. They need like go for the foot in hand and land on top, land on top, or else they just lose. I mean they lose either way probably, but this is more fun. That's the real reason. That's my real justification. Drake Star is just more fun. Oh, I only have the scorn. Okay, that would have been... All right, so what does that card do at all? Oh, and I hit one of each exactly. No, wait, how did that card work? Oh, wait, I should play the cards I hit. Yeah, let's get max value, I guess. Even if it means I'm not playing the Hatcher right away. Oh, I would have given haste to the Dino. I probably didn't have to. Uh, I probably didn't have to cast that two two. Obviously, it doesn't matter this game. There's like zero case I ever lose this game. Not even, not in a million million years. All right. They're gonna have Lily. They're probably gonna rely on it. Rollback can go. Bail off is decent, and then the Planeswalker are maybe good. Drakers are probably greedy against a Go for the Fred deck. We can Planeswalker. I figured it might be good against Ramp. Because. It's just something that helps me play around Sunfall a bit. 
and the minus four can maybe get me can get me rid of a an attracts. I need ways to kill attracts off. How many Bailoth do I want? Do they have other ways? Oh yeah, they have Trespasser, right? They might board out Trespasser though, but I'm gonna bring in all the Bailoth, I guess. I need all the chumps. This could be good against yeah, I think I'll probably need that card. Even though I don't really like it. Or yeah, how about how about this my how how bad does my curve look if I start cutting? Yeah, the five free. The Ram Dino trades was the free drop. Why do you play sell? Did you have to be the two drop Dino trades was a free drop? I don't really get it. But I'm never going to cast it on two. I'm going to save it to kill a shield reds. I do need to be able to kill shield reds and stuff. I could just cut, cut Raptor. That's all greedy. Maybe I'll just cut that card. It's like a little worse on the draw too, maybe. The five free. Yeah, but the mana's kind of nice. <clears throat> oh, was I off game one too? What happened there? And their best possible turn one. I didn't realize you're double ruby. Not bad against removal though. Lily plus. Lily plus. Lily plus, Lily plus, no glissa, no glissa. Can I just lose if they have glissa? Lily plus. Finally. Finally. I wish I'd done that at the Worlds against Anthony. <laughs> He said, got him, all caps. The genius of Gabriel Nassif. So night and day between Glista, I lose probably, Lily, I probably win. <laughs> Which he never have. <laughs> it was, I was here. My hand doesn't do much on a side note. It doesn't do it doesn't need much to do something. I might not even need to draw anything, I guess, but Alright. What kind of sweeper could they have? Like path? Give command. Dude, I just want to name dinosaur. Stop suggestion, all these other things. I didn't miss a land drop too well. Brittle. Shield red. Shield red breaks my draw. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've got to be a massive favorite, even if they play a shield red here. Like, any of my 20 dinos win in the next, like, four or five turns. The genius of Gabriel Nassif. And I just want to do the double, uh, the ex exponential... Exponential beats. Also, it's like double ward now. It's kind of cool. I've never, I've never had a two front and play at the same time and got the giga triggers. Exponential beats is the name of MC Good Grief's second album. Or discover triggers. All right, sorry about the bad draws. Oof. All right, finally lost the die roll. Let's see how I do on the draw.
burnt taco reading for OP. Don't blame you. Human and T. Okay. Can I live? Can I survive? They need to break here. They need to get something awkward. That would be nice. Planes. Planes doesn't look that awkward for them. Probably not the end of the world for me if they're discarding a land. That means they already had their land drop. Four mana. Four mana. Dang, they did dinosaurs wells in Ixalan. Looks like 60. 90, yeah, yeah. They did, they, they did. They did indeed. I could bolt something. I play Hammer Skull in the hands. My hand's all awkward. I play Hammer Skull and they have a removal. You know, like Brutal Cathar, I kind of lose. I guess I can just play another one, just take a beating. All right. Block three, four, five, six, three, seven. How many counters? Three or more? That's one. Yeah, am I ever blo not blocking NT? That's got to be the block, right? Not the end of the world. All right, we get. Oh, that's so sick. We get another trigger and hit vanguards. Still not the end of the world, but if they bricked again there, that would be nice. And then I didn't use the map token. If I had one more life. Or if I had like, if I had used the map, but if I used the map the turn before in my 2-2, two because -two, I ended up wasting mana. But if I had done that, it would have just put the counter on that 2-1, and then I had terrible blocks. So I think my play was right. Because they, they could have put the anti counter on uh, Officer, and then it's free to trample, and then my 1-1 one -one has no good blocks. Probably lose if they drew anything. Maybe they drew some. All right, so block. I'm going to go to 1, so the Vanguard doesn't matter anymore. 
I think it's at four free, right? Four free, four free, three, two, okay. I don't really know what I'm thinking about. Through the best possible card, kind of. Question, do I sack a map token on my dino egg? It's pretty risky. If I do that, then they hit NT. I mean, if they hit NT, I guess I just lose. Most likely. I don't know, maybe not. Yeah, they just... Mm, no, maybe not. All right, let's just go. Man, I just kind of needed them to stumble at some point, you know? Not hit that Vanguard of the second NT trigger. Draw a land last turn. Or draw a lower impact creature, just a little little help somewhere. I see if they don't have the first get lost, I just probably take over pretty fast. Also, I lost a die roll. Well, bad sign is doesn't look like they break. Good sign is they don't have an obvious one. All right, how am I gonna sideboard? Uh, prob one barrage, do I want end the festivities? Probably not. Recruiter, is that some kind of, well, I guess recruiter is not that good. Or it doesn't kill me, it's pretty good. Just not lethal. Probably on four barrage. Maybe obstinate bail off is good. Railback's probably bad. Then she barrage, but then she bail off. Like, do they even play virtue? Yeah, this is so nerve wracking. You play one virtue. I don't have great blocks, right? Everything on my side dies. It's like which creature do I want to leave them with? Just a recruiter, right? So something like that. Four, five, three, haste, ward one. Four, two, haste, ward one. Five, one. Okay. Interesting spot. I could kill it and then map. Or I can play that and then be able to guarantee uh, I'm gonna explore with map because it's sorcery speed. I mean, we know they don't have anything cheap. Killing a creature for free is nice, but I don't think it really matters right now. I think I want the counter here. Ruby, yes, graveyard. I think I want the counter here, cause if they draw something to pump, my play is bad if they play another recruiter, but then they have to chomp attack one of their recruiters. Yes, my play is bad against Brutal Cathar.
I mean, roaming film's pretty good, right? If uh, if I break that and then looks like we lose. Frustrating game. So close. Oh, freaking close. Shoot it. What? Dude, what is wrong with me? I was so focused on playing it that. Man, classic chat. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, man, I'm so dumb. What happened? I forgot I could just. I forgot my card had auto abilities. You can't believe what fell. Uh, should be a good matchup, but pretty bad to lose that. Don't tilt. I'll try not to. Do I even need Bailoff, honestly? They're not much of a burn deck. Unbelievable. Life of a streamer. No, Barrage doesn't target a right creature, but they have enough creature, I think. I'll almost bring in the Planeswalkers. I guess I don't need the Lore Keeper as badly on the play. I guess Fern always was filled back. Not very well. It's not great. Not uh, just small into oblivion. Oh man. It was probably just game two, right? Because I had every, every decision backfired, like the map thing backfired. Very, very frustrating. I'm gonna keep chum because it kills NT. That's nice actually, I don't really need that. That was a pretty good turn for me, honestly. Now they're gonna play Adeline. Not a red one. Dude, I'm dumb. I was thinking that kills a red one, but it doesn't. Oh no, it's when you attack. Okay, it does kill it right now. A little late. Oh no, perfect. Okay, okay. We're in it. Yeah, I need to remember. I can use that too. I can live with that. Okay, lands. This is at least good. I have if they play like Adeline or that one two, I have a bunch of blockers for them. I don't want to block the recruiter. I don't already play Freda in their deck. Just kill a recruiter for now. Hopefully they don't have threatens in their deck. Maybe I should have just killed Recruiter. Should have killed a Recruiter, maybe sacked one of the map tokens. Yeah, lots kind of get better in multiples in some ways. 
Yeah, if we draw land, I can recast things and stuff, but I'd rather just soak up some damage. It's not the end of the world. Oh well. It's pretty good. I'm at eight. Their last card in hand is Recruiter. Is it even better to just play that thing? Kill that. Haste. I still have a blocker. Or if I play Hatcher, I guess that thing's probably just better, right? I even get to attack with these guys and have this to block. I have to lose my mid orcs. How much damage is that? Oh, it's almost lethal. I don't think it really matters. I want to use that ability. I'm not going to attack. I could attack with... I think that was bad. Can I afford to attack here? No, probably not. The lane is four attackers. If they draw a haste creature, that's five. I need five blockers. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. I just kill them, maybe. Three. Oops. That's seven trample. They block the three bigger swans. They take 10, 16. No trample, all right. Like the three biggest ones, they take 10, 16, and I did draw a haste creature, I just lose. We said I need six blockers, right? Because they could go Adeline and a haste creature. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Now I need five blockers. I did lethal. What? They block these three, and then they take 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can attack here. And I can even send Ruby. And I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, which is more than enough. All right, I don't know if they have outs. What to find out? I don't think they have outs. Yeah, Adeline and Hasters. No, it's yeah, it's six. Yeah, that's why I counted six. Yeah, yeah.
All right, I managed not to pump punt uh, on board twice in a row. Nice. Let's spin Lord Keeper on the draw. Oh, the Belos does have some nice stats on it. I'm not going to lie. It's got Carnosaur. The only thing killed my mana dorks. I might just cut a ridge line on the draw. And to kill tokens in Thalia. First one's probably fine, right? It does kill Recruiter and stuff. Got Huatli. What's Huatli? Nah, Huatli's good. It just got all the thrones, honestly. And keep Carnosaur because it's removal cards. Kind of what wins me the game. Friends will win more. Yeah, 4 4 Ward is kind of nice. And it's. You need to take over. They're like. They've got some staying power. Still haven't seen targets for Frillback, right? Bone Horse is kind of nice too. It flies. You don't have to use their Get Lost earlier. And it it's a fat, it turns a corner fast. Now let's do that. I think I'm gonna maul. I mean, it's yeah, not a ruby into lore keeper though. Ruby into removal. One land in my top two. Oh God. That land doesn't really change anything because Ruby has haste. Well, let's see. I do draw land to go. Creature, creature, Adeline. I don't have a blocker for it. So I'll lose like, I guess I can go land chomp into. It also just draw land lands. Funny is if I maul, I might just flood. Or I might just maul against five. How many outs is it? Like 20 outs twice. Oh. And it plays Krelf. Much better. A bit better. I'm glad I mulligan, but. Human Scouts. How quickly uh, each other you may. Do they have like the one one that makes? I didn't see that card at all. Wow. Just flip it. I guess I could attack first. Let's play fast. But, uh, dude, what do they do upstairs? They drop shit all the time. Scared me.
Oh, that was a little lucky. Oh, I like that I have Arena. I have the bad grind nose of Arena. I don't look cluck cluck. Kind of soothing. And kind of white noise. That right, card would have been pretty good for them on curve. Uh, I mean, just hatch for maybe. Probably shouldn't spend too much time thinking about it. Oh, it also gives like haste to my small dinos. That's kind of cool. This makes mana. This makes mana. Hmm. Oh, why did I kill that one? Now I get to block with the other one. That's not great. Doesn't really matter. Just need to not time out. Can't make a taco without flipping a few heads, as they say. Oh, I can sack a tapped egg to get an extra mana. You're right. Blue streamer, yeah. All right, it's so long. It's been a, it's a lot of rounds, a lot of magic. My, I'm starting to like lose. I'm also probably a little dehydrated. I haven't drank a sip of water in like hours. What did they name Go Hog Wild? Yeah, I got the W. Matters. Snack, I don't need dinner. There's no way, right? Does anyone know? We ask him. What did it change with the UI that you have to scroll down? Looks like they messed up the UI a bit. I want to get rid of Chomp here. Listen, we're talking about practice. Not a game, not a game, not a game. We're talking about practice. Don't cut me down, bro. I'm baited by Frill back. I'm struggling here. I love the way this is going. It is my Yambu, huh? Kind of how else the other day I was saying, just double that. Not a dino bat, is it?
I have a hard time imagining winning this game. Need to obviously draw something really good right now. You could have just gone like turn to schooner, right? And then I would have gotten like turn three frill back, kill your schooner, blow you out. He does bad, now he just makes a 2 to unbox that. Yeah. I'll lose. I mean, either way, I'm in like atrocious shape. Ah, uh, well, this was a beating. Is the Esper deck... Esper version, you should play, uh... Or Wedding, Free Virtues, Tokazia sometimes. Is not perfectly close. Oh, yes and no, I guess. I don't know. I feel like you're just being negative for no reason. I don't know what's what you're trying to accomplish by saying that. You don't have to say everything that like goes through your head, especially when it's negative. And for that sounds kind of good in theory, but in practice. Bailiff is not like secretly OP against them, is it? No. <clears throat> um. Could just board out all the hammer skulls. Card kind of stinks. I kind of wish I'd just more Hugh Utley for this matchup. <laughs> Feels like it's a matchup where I'd just be happy to have like four Hugh Utley in my deck. Maybe Hugh Utley is too slow. You ever play Underground River here if you don't have Cut Down? I go cut down into bat and I lose. Could have schooner last game, could you? Turn to schooner. Maybe this matchup's just bad. Not like this. Not like this. The new wording, right? Either way. It's GG. Nice. Oh, man. Have fun.
Okay, it's land this time. Viewers. Sad game. Sad, sad game. It's like, yeah, it's spot removal stuff. Call in when I draw like that. To get better. Yeah, I know. Screener is just brutal. We have to just have four frail back against four screener, four winning announcement, kind of a no-brainer. But I feel like every time I draw frail back, it's just not that great. I know I'm still playing. It's just super miserable. Jesus. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have scoop, but it did feel over. Oh man. Good outwards. Yet a keep. 23rd was two rounds to go. My breakers are good. If I win the last two and somehow all my opponents just win all their matches. Blue black won. I lost to how did I lose? I lost to three colored deck. I ended up losing to that white blue artifact. I super flooded. I, I had like I think at the end of the game I had one land I had like over 10 cards left in my deck. Ooh. I had over 10 cards left in my deck. And I had like one land left in the deck. And they had that white, that blue white artifact that makes four fours going. My deck was just so good, close to perfect. Oh, easy clap. I've done other way around. No way, right? Make this appear. More annoying. Stun counter. Just go for the throat, maybe. Hopefully, they just have like virtue. Stake 11. Yeah, the artifact that spits out 4 4, the blue white one. Pretty good spot. Slam is a good draw. Bell is a good draw. I got pressure. Just curving out perfectly on the play. I need to try Bell with zero throne and see if I really miss it. Land for the win. Dude, I can do the combo next turn. <laughs> oh, it's so greedy. I really want to. I was playing standard, yeah. Double discover. I do get to attack for extra damage this turn. Can I lose? That's the combo. So play this, name dinosaur, and then I get two discover triggers next turn. So if I play the 4-4, four, four, I get to attack for five. Dude, I could do a sick play. Name human? And then my ruby can attack for five. 
They're gonna think it's a joke when I play that thing. They're gonna think I'm like. They're gonna think I'm like slow rolling them. All right, I'm just gonna. I mean, they do miss out on a lot of damage. Maybe it's not that bad. Decision in the monster. Nah. Dude, why is it so complicated? Is it actually close? Just play the front and swing. All right, Icy Wolf. Icy Wolf has spoken. That's all I was waiting for. An excuse. That's the only excuse I needed to be greedy. I mean, you need a counter, right? Plus, I can't really make top eight anymore, so I, that's kind of part of the reason. I feel like just casting Carnosaur is probably a bit better, but this is maybe more fun. Yeah, priority shifts. Exactly. I should have said sorry back in chat to act like I haven't actually been tanking about my plays. You know what? This line's pretty bad against Bath. If they just go Bath here. Bad, say go, get another 1-1. One, one. Does anyone know if I get double trigger with that? How bad is it for me if they counter? I do. I'll just play Hammer Skull. Attack first. Don't want to attack first. It's exile my war. In fact, it has war too. I know where is the cavern. Oh no, playing that first was bad. Now they have virtue. I kind of just lose. Now I guess it's not that bad if they have virtue. I can't believe I'm gonna lose this game. I'm such a monster. Yeah, good luck, uh, Dark Magician. All right, just gonna draw Cavern because there's no justice. So I could kill that and that pre combat. That actually doesn't work, right? It's a creature card. If it triggered the ability of another creature control, oh, it doesn't say activated ability. On a trigger. How can I cast it? The Dane, shut up. I can't cast it. I don't have five mana. I guess I just lose. Just played bad and I lose now. Just cast it. I have installed you, Kenzo. 25, appreciate it. Dude, it's such a joke. I'm so, so dumb. I might have still lost, because I would have put a 6-6. Six, six. They had, like, double go for the throw and that and stuff, but... I might have actually still lost. Maybe my play was fine. And it's just, like, the game against Blue-White, where they needed to have, like, literally every every last card. Every perfect last card.
Father Dex just trolling me. <clears throat> nice. Probably like kill the wandering around per right away. Lock. Why do I do it to myself? Why oh, chat? I'm just sad. Oh, I guess it's fine. I did. I did think it was like kind of close. Now live. 8, 14, 18. Well, that sucks. And you got to keep the perfect cards. Stop chibate, best chibates. Got this early. All right, let's do all the fill backs. Heading to work. All right, thanks for hanging out. Maybe I'll try the Planeswalker. It's in the tank as well. Am I enjoying the standard more than when I was testing for rolls? Um, I haven't played enough, but so far I would say yes. Just because it's less stressful. Don't have to worry so much. Kind of kind of play whatever, it's not a big deal. Testing for wars was okay though. I don't know, Schooner seems a bit too good of a card to me so far. I'm not sure Schooner makes the format more enjoyable for anyone. Well, probably for people who put the card in their deck. I get to laugh at people who don't have that card in their deck. Also, White, White Virtue is pretty strong card. White Virtue is probably fine. Acceptable. Maybe Schooner's not even that good, I don't know. Or maybe it's a new fable. Good hand if they don't have cut down. No cut down and I draw a third land. Even just me drawing a third land is okay. Is Shelly Pable outside Dinos, I think? Yeah, probably. It's good cards. I would guess you want a dino, you know, you want some dinos in your deck for the third trigger. It's probably not worth it, so maybe not. Maybe it's not that good. What do they have to take here? 
just have to take hammer skull and hope I don't draw land, probably. That seems weird. Probably means they have Rafine. Play this one first, right? More Bone Hordes. I think it's worse. It's probably worse than another five drop. I haven't tried playing more though, so maybe maybe it's just great and but just jam Bone Hordes till they drop. Especially if you're not playing um, the four drop. I want to try version was that the four mana artifact. All right, well, take it easy, bud. Try not to bully too many people today. Save the bullying for the stream. That's a pretty good draw. All right, I'm going to cast it this time. Stop being a Munson. Fold their bad and kill Rafine. Damn you. No, I would have to have Wandering Emperor. Dude, I'm off it. I'm just casting the damn dino. You can't stop me. See? Just cast the dino win. Easy. They brought in Disdainful Stroke, so maybe I don't want these stupid Planeswalkers. Because I can't give them on Carnival. This way, all my disdainful stroke targets are in cavern. I think they only play two, right? Two Athenies, two schooners in most of the Esper version. So I don't think I should have Needle. Bailout used to be a rare. Most unexciting hand I've ever seen in my life. Or Mulligan to five, but they just play a schooner. Schooner a bath. I guess I have frail back for a schooner. Come on, Butte. Come on, you little one drop. Damn it. Joke's on you, my hand sucks. The GG Rafine. Classic frail back. Classic, classic frail backs. I mean, my only hope is that they kept uh, that they kept counters like Monson's. They kept counters over uh, over just casting their their spells, and even that is probably not enough, honestly. Same Dino deck. I made a few changes, but yeah, mostly. Can I go back to game one when I didn't cast my uh, my thingy? Yeah, I don't understand. They discarded a wedding announcement. I'm telling you, 
my only hope is that one or they would have discarded counter. So, so I don't really know what's going on in this game. I don't think it's going to matter. Just losing the race, right? Yeah, really smart to get the lifelink to that bat when Rafine is illegal cards. No one saw that one coming. Yeah, classic. Baby Rage just complaining about every card, every 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 playable card. Only only my cards. Only my cards deserves to be deserve to be played. That's sad. I'm upset. I should have not punted. Down here, salt is a way of life. Your fate into a monster's hand. Sorry, Shadzi. All right, let's see if we can make the S for matchup look not too bad one time. I mean, it's just like angels or something. Good luck, I say. Who are you playing against? Ariani? Oh, hey, it's me. Uh, it's me, Gabriele. Sorry, guys, I have to close the stream. I didn't see your opener, but I knew what you're on. No problem, GL, you freaking scumbag. Although I haven't been paying attention when you've been saying the combo and I wish I had. There's not much of a combo. Well, Virtue, go for the front. Gavarin. You'll love to see it. If I don't win this game, then the matchup's really bad. If I can't win when I resolve a Raptor while they cycle a tower and my hand is just gas. Maybe I'll find a way to punt. Two mana. Hang being here was kind of bad, what? But he literally told me where I was. We literally saw Kekador's flag at the end. Quick study, oh no. Not like this. Uh, that's why it was a little too easy. All right, so I guess I'm not playing my 2 2. Oh, it's control. I don't think I would have played much different, to be honest. It's kind of nice to play a different matchup, I guess. Dude, Hammer Skull is such a liability when it's bad. Not sure if that's why I, why I'm losing though. No. 
Okay, no memory to load, no quick study. That does some bad sun full attack. Dude, um, like on rail. I guess maybe it's not even that bad that I did that. Kind of confused at what's going on in this game. Made our hands just terrible. Get me out of here. Oh. Because whatever. I mean, I can give myself to do it. I guess I have another Wandering Emperor, right? Not very really sure what I'm supposed to do about it, though. You have a force wandering emperor? That's what it feels like. Like pre combat minusing a wandering emperor. Go win. You don't have. What? Darren should just make the discover spell also on counter roll. I mean, you can borrow mine in the meantime. But I know you keep looking around here, but I just. Okay, I'll reset. I'll have a feral in Esper Suite. Am I gonna win this game? Looking kind of decent, actually. <laughs> Somehow. Down to two cards, it looks like they're a little flooded. I haven't found memory deluge yet.
How greedy do I want to be? Just make them have the sunfall. I feel like I've kind of given up on that game. Not sure how well I played, but I like have a chance. I know I find a way. All right, that's a force wandering emperor. I run them out of wind cons. And that's plus on that token, attack me down to one. Kind of feels like I should block there. Maybe I got baited. I don't know how it works with that card if I, uh, If I exile is one power on politics, can I uh can I play the exile card with the next one? Or is it specific to that one? I guess it's specific to that one, but I get these rules wrong all the time. Thanksgiving, I mean there's no Thanksgiving in France. I just got right because my rice from the US. Pretty good draw. I mean, Turkey is the worst part about Thanksgiving anyway, so I don't know. It seems fine to substitute any mate. No, I want a kebab. I guess kebab plays down the, down the street. I'm just hungry. I'm just looking toward the end of the stream so I can go slam some food. About drinking, get it straight, get back, get so you hit the hickey. What's up? Last match, we're not playing for top eight. We did have a good run though. I made day two of the arena open, so that's exciting. I don't think I've ever made day two of one of these limited opens before. I opened a really good, uh, really good seal deck. Oh, I'm dead. That's lethal. All right, definitely want these two and then pitting needle. And then chump is bad. And I guess frill back gets uh I don't want that one barrage just for the wandering emperor. Doesn't feel very efficient, but frill back maybe for the sunfall token at least. Let's jam. Let's try and jam until the drop. My deck's not very good against the card sunfall. Open was good. Looks like Hosea might make top it too. How do I get back? Kind of terrible, terrible hand against Sunfall, but maybe I'll draw some lands. It's another matchup where Huawei would be pretty good, just having four Huawei. Mopey, but good. They play Swamp Turn one, probably just cut down, cut down GGLUs. Just so unlikely their turn one place swamp if they don't have cut down. It's almost impossible why they don't have cut down. Land draw killed it. Lando cut Bracian. Hey, Saws, did you make top eight? Oh, no big deal. Did you play a schooner deck or did you play something else? You don't have to answer if you don't want to. Never know who's spying. You just played the good deck, congrats. And the Esper, yeah. Sounds very smart.
I don't know why I didn't just play why I don't just play rando I swear. I knew I mean I knew I was like spewing. I would play these decks well too. Did this trade blue white make top eight? Beat Quadzo. Maze trade blue white's just better. Cut 120 tickets of Merfolk from the sideboards. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what the what the card does in standard if there's like matchups where it has good use. Or if people just had that card in their sideboard just because. CZ chat. I need to draw. Need them to have nothing. Was there seven cards in hand? And I need to draw a, a cavern. Early. I think it's for stifling caverns Atraxa. Stifling Atraxa. Yeah, that's pretty good. What's going on? Did you pay a ward for their void run? Is that what just happened? The forest for Nissa? Yeah, I should have just played that. I always forget that card needs red. Four free was blue white soldiers against Esper today. Six one J one. You played against Esper seven out of eight rounds. Yeah, how do you like domain against Esper? Is it close? Is it competitive? Still competitive? I used to be okay being on the domain ram side. You lost from seven to domain. Is that you, Mino? I wasn't sure earlier when you were said GGs and stuff. That's you. You lost to domain. Shana is absurd against domain. The free mana enchantment hits pretty good. That removes everything with CC2. Oh, Lugdown. Mm. Yeah, someone was saying Lugdown was good in this format. All right, lands. Land Nissel would have been nice here. No. And stuck on four lands despite you oddly. Feels bad, man. For me, it seems there are now free Esper builds, and the one with the boat is the weakest. I mean, depends against who. I'm on the fence about boat, but cavern, bad cavern is fantastic. Yeah. But no, I'm just getting memed on. This binder's card I like. What does it flip into? I'm decided if I should needle a uh, shield red or not. You would? All right. Just shield reds. Damn sauce. Chat, Fox, had a bit of your attention. We got a podcast called Midweek Metagame. We recorded a couple days ago with Scanister. If you live in Europe, you can check out my sponsor, Ultimate Guard. Well, you can check out my sponsor, Ultimate Guard, no matter where you live. But right now, if you live in Europe and you go on ultimateguard.com, you can get 10% off a lot of stuff. I'm going to play Burn or Dinosaur and hope they have literally nothing, which is kind of already close, but... Yeah, I get 10% off. I also rep TCG Player and CFB Pro. 
If you live in the US for seven bucks a month, you can get TCG Player Premium. That gets you free shipping, free tracking, um, disc, occasional discounts and whatnot. And it gives you all of the CFB Pro content, which is the most comprehensive database of deck guides, strategy articles written by all the best players in the world, or some of them at least. Reed Duke, Luis Scott Vargas. Some of the best players slash wash player in the world, do you think? Uh, all right, GG's. That's uh, not, not good. Yeah, I guess Dino is just like... Yeah. Maybe it's good against the random white aggro decks. Maybe it does better against white aggro than on the upper deck, but I'm not even sure that's the case. All right, chat, I'll see you tomorrow for an open. I think I'm just going to stream it with a delay.